Brazil, of course, taking to the field for the first time in this edition of the most prestigious festival in world football. No doubt looking for a performance to set a tone. There's his great vocal support. There are many, many who have travelled to watch them and every one of those supporters willing them to give everything back for the cause. It is beautifully set here. The Saitama Stadium looking a terrific picture as always. One of Asia's best purpose-built stadia. The national anthem of Uruguay rings out. impressive match that Brazil looking for a fast start to get things done early here. Well, Peter, both of these teams will take to the pitch with a three-point focus. Ambition is fresh and strong, and each will want to go deep into the competition, so neither will be looking to come out of this with a, a flawed game plan. This has to be assured and close to their best. That gets things running. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Yeah, I think we can expect to see more than a few moments of individual brilliance with Neymar on the pitch, Peter. He's got such a silky touch, he can ghost past defenders, and he can pass and shoot with the very best. If you're looking for someone to take your breath away, this is the guy for me. Yeah, he'll be looking for a goal or two. And it's Neymar. It's Neymar! Well, it seems as if he's just had a momentary lapse and, and slipped into tunnel vision because he had good options around him and he failed to get his head up. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. And here's Roberto Firmino. Tries to locate someone up front. Oh, good interception. Nicely measured pass. Striding forward, facing goal. And the shot! To safety. Neymar, Coutinho, Neymar, oh, it's a fine challenge and it goes his way. It's being played forward, oh, he's made sure that that won't get through. Back into the middle, out to the left it goes, hoists it forward. Change to the score, nil-nil it remains. Looks to bypass the midfield. And that's a foul, simple decision for the referee. What an adventurous run from a defender. Oh, 
Abrazo. Femino. Forward it goes. And it's Coutinho. Coutinho really struggling to influence the game. Ah, uh, he needs a minder, and one of his teammates should be picking up on that, and quickly. Played out to the right. He's picked him out. Cross deflected behind for a corner. A hefty challenge, but has a hit. A oh, great save, real class. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeper. Neymar goes on a charge down the left. Going through. Neymar beautifully done. Tries to get it forward quickly. Oh, he's broken. Goes for goal. He's delivered all right. And how about the timing of the pass and run? They've worked it before and no doubt they'll work it again. Uruguay get themselves into the lead and that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on Danilo gets into some space oh well defended that had to be done it's come loose Firmino Surely a foul, free kick. So the last big chance perhaps before half-time. And just look at the keeper, he's really busy trying to get as much protection in place. Neymar! Good try, the outcome could so easily have been different. Oh, managed to get it away. it's Fabinho Neymar quick glance of goal and the assistant referee rightly gives him offside gets it upfield Lovely bit of skill. Gets wrestled off the ball. He's on a charge, but he's on his own for now. It's going to be the final action of the first half. So there you have it. A close sport half of football. But it still had its moments. It ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, they definitely won't be happy with that half. They seem to lack a bit of desire, especially going forward. It wouldn't surprise me to see a change or two. Already up and running for the second half. Brazil don't need to press the panic button just yet. They may have to tweak their, their setup first if they don't grab an early goal in the second half. They can't hold back, though. Neymar going full tilt down the left. 
Coutinho. And it's played forward. Forward it goes. It's found its way to him. Dashing forward at pace. Over to the left. Cross deflected over the goal line for a corner. And that's left him on the seat of his pants. That's a case of crossing in hope, and unless they provide some more options, it'll be more missed than hit. Coutinho plays it forward. Oh, that's a foul. Free kick's been given. And that's been levered clear. Played back in. That was one quality pass away from being a very decent chance. Looked very promising. Look, the game is full of ifs and buts. If only the, the pass could have completed its journey. <laughs> Just brushed off the ball there. Uruguay are very keen on the aerial route. Look, if you're good at it. And the shot! Arthur. And it's Firmino. Coutinho is on the end of some really unwanted attention. Well, closing him down first, Peter, is a very necessary step. In, in... He's gone for it! Sticks it away! Well, it certainly livened things up a bit, and that next goal there was absolutely crucial. Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things, just put your foot through it, and that was a good example. Great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. That has added a whole new complexion to the game. Yeah, it's a very good contest with two very good sides and with such great individual talent on show, it could go either way. Coutinho. Tries to get it forward quickly. a brilliant interception a slightly better ball would have led to a very different outcome there Brazil just had to make the ball stick but came up short Closing in on the last quarter of an hour. Drives it towards the front. A long ball, but not especially accurate. And it's the through ball. And the finish! Back of the net! Into the lead once more! With time and space are plenty. He was never going to miss. It's rarely a problem when that much time is afforded in the penalty box. Nobody sensed where the danger was lurking, and the finish was made a lot easier.
hope for a change in personnel. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. So we have a breakthrough. Now how will things develop from here? Yeah, it's been their hard work that has got him this lead, but I just wonder whether they can keep it up. This may take a toll now. was easy almost too easy Neymar is the obvious danger man here and yet he was afforded way too much freedom I think he was gifted that goal his reputation should have been warning enough for them Quite a thriller this one's become. Oh, I think the coach will really be annoyed with that. The players were still thinking about their goal and just got caught napping. Arthur. Hoists it forward. Gabriel Jesus plays it out to the flank. A really good feat from him. A game with so much to recommend it. Fabulous contest. But still no clear winner. It's a very open game and an exciting watch. There are no signs of nerves or, or caginess from either team. This pitch is go-for-it territory right now. Shoots! And the ball's come out! Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. And it's William. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. Can't get the better of his opposite number. And that's that. Brazil claim one point on day one. It's a fair start. Why would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? It could have been both better or worse, so a draw will be a happy compromise, I think.